Here's an example that involves computing the population correlation. A fair coin is tossed twice. Let x be the number of heads that appear and y be the number of tails that appear. Find the population correlation between x and y. This same problem appeared earlier, but instead of calculating population correlation, we had computed the population covariance. So in this particular case, x and y take on the values 0, 1, and 2. However, when you know the number of heads, that implies the number of tails, so the three values for the distribution will be like this. The marginal distribution for x here will be binomial and that binomial distribution will have n equals two trials because the coin is tossed twice and it will have a probability of success that is um, tossing a head of one half. Now because of that the mean of x will be n times p. 2 times 1 half gives you 1. Furthermore, the variance, sigma squared, will be n times p times 1 minus p, and that turns out to be 1 half. Likewise, the random variable y, which is the number of tails that appear, will also have a marginal binomial distribution and that is with parameter 2 because of the two trials and the probability of one half because it's a fair coin one half is the probability of tossing a tail. This means that mu sub y will be n times p which is 1 and sigma sub y squared is n times p times 1 minus p and that gives you one half. So at this point, we'd like to calculate the population correlation, and that will be rho. And by definition, we have the covariance of x and y in the numerator. And we have sigma x, sigma y in the denominator. The covariance of x, y was computed in a previous example and that turned out to be negative one half. Sigma sub x is the standard deviation of x and that will be the square root of one half. Sigma sub y is the standard deviation of y and that will also be the square root of one half. So what you get here is you get negative one half divided by one half and that ratio will be negative one. And that is actually no surprise because all of the support here lies on a line. These dots represent the support script A. And since all of the support lies on a line with, slope, with a negative slope, we know that the population correlation must be negative 1.